I'm Jim Anderson, Assistant Director in the Criminal Network Subdirectorate, and I'm honored to oversee the Counterfeit Currency and Security Documents Branch, which is a unit that is responsible for leading the International Research Project entitled Physical Chemical Study of Cross-Line Intersection. This study was conducted over the past six years by Interpol and the International Academy of Experts in Handwriting and Documents and it brought together the expertise and knowledge of 120 forensic document examiners from 54 Interpol member countries. In order to examine microscopic differences in written and printed works to determine the exact time frame that a document was forged or counterfeited. The results of this international research project were prepared jointly by Interpol and the International Academy of Experts in Handwriting and Documents. And our study proposed a unique, non-destructive procedure to address this issue so as to help forensic experts resolve cases of forgery and counterfeit as well as to preserve the integrity of the evidence for future examinations. This unique, non-destructive procedure is an exciting development in the field of document forensics. And I would like to thank the International Academy of Experts in Handwriting and Documents, and all the document forensic examiners and researchers who contributed their expertise and time to this significant research project. Finally, I would like to thank Daniela Dervaska from the Macedonian Police, who is currently seconded to Interpol's Counterfeit Currency and Security Documents Branch, since this research project would not have been possible without her leadership and expertise in the field of document forensics. We wish to share the results of this scientific research project with the international community, in particular with forensic document examiners in preparation of their expert opinions. The subject of this publication is the relationship between time and inks and the results of performed analysis, which comprise four protocols, namely A, B, C and D. Protocol A provides the answer of whether or not invisible ink migration can be used for ink dating. Protocol B addresses the question of whether or not visible ink migration can be used for determination of delta T. This is the time gap of execution of two lines. Protocol C answers the question whether or not fading of luminescence can be used to determine delta T. And finally, we have got Protocol D, which focuses on identifying the chemical components of inks. Significant project conclusions are that visible ink migration can be used for sequencing of crossing line intersection, invisible ink migration can be used for ink dating, decreasing of luminescence intensity within crossing line intersection can be used to estimate delta T, and we were able to identify luminescence components of inks present in both visible and invisible migration, such as crystal violet and its degradation products. To learn more, you are welcome to consult the publication via I-247 Global Police Communication System as well as Interpol Public web pages.